this video, I'm going to take you through how you can earn interest and maximize the returns on your crypto with Yearn Finance. And I'll take you through a brief overview of Yearn Finance today and the Wi-Fi coin before showing you how to use Earn, Vaults, Zap and Cover on the platform. Now this site is in beta and things do change very quickly. Therefore, some screens might not be exactly the same depending on when you're watching the video. But if they release a major update, I'll create an updated tutorial and put it in the summary below. Or you can check out everybethelps.co.uk for the latest information. Yearn.finance is a DeFi yield aggregator that runs on the Ethereum blockchain and it acts as a portal to various DeFi products with the aim to create a simple, intuitive interface to all of DeFi. Yearn Finance users can earn interest and maximize their returns on their cryptocurrency while also saving money on transaction fees and time spent researching. And they offer a suite of yield aggregation products. Firstly, there's Earn, where you can deposit and automatically earn the best interest rates possible. Zap is an access point for ZapRFI, where you can zap directly into or out of curve pools from the base assets. They have cover that provides insurance against smart contract risks and is underwritten by Nexus Mutual. Then finally, there's Vaults, where you can deposit and automatically use advanced strategies for higher risk and return. And although they have separate products, the idea is all the same. Yearn will take the tokens that are provided to it and move them around to the most profitable lending providers and liquidity pools. They also have their own YFI or Waifu coin, which has gone up 50 times since hitting the market. And earning that Yearn Finance token gives you a say in future governance and functions as a cryptocurrency. The interesting thing about the coin is that they released the entire supply of just 30,000 and the founder, Andre Cogne, did not keep any for himself or the team. So to get those tokens now, users just need to buy it and it's also been listed on Coinbase Pro. And Yearn.Finance have also just released the fact that they're going to be introducing Stable Credit, a new protocol for decentralized lending, stable coins and AMMs. And you can check out more information with regards to this on Medium. So let's jump into the walkthrough now. And we'll need to head across to Yearn.Finance first. And the first place that I'm going to start is Earn. And I need to connect up my wallet. And as you can see, there's a lot of different types of Web3 or Ethereum based wallets here, which include the likes of MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Trezor, Ledger, and Coinbase Wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and connect up my MetaMask wallet now. And as I said, we're going to start off on this Earn tab now, which performs profit switching for lending providers, moving your funds between different lending platforms. And as I did mention earlier, this project is still in beta, so please do use it at your own risk. And with your wallet connected, you can deposit any of these stable coins here, such as DAI, USDC, Tether, SUSD, and they also have Wrap Bitcoin in here too. And Yearn will get you the highest yields for your coins at all times by shifting your coins between Aave, DYDX, and Compound. And you can check out their best and available rates on their link at the bottom here, which is stats.finance which will show you the APYs, the deposit amounts, and the amount that's currently supplied. And obviously you could deposit directly into these platforms, and I have full tutorials of all of these. But where it differs from providing liquidity direct is that Yearn will automatically move your assets to the protocol with the best returns. And this in turn should save you some money in fees than if you were manually moving the funds around yourself. So say I had some DAI available, and I wanted to enter it into the Earn Y Die pool. Well, first of all, I can click on this drop down here. And then I can enter in the amount here or select 25, 50%, 75, or 100% of my current balance. And once deposited, Yearn will programmatically deposit DAI into one of the three pools. Then it will withdraw from one protocol and deposit to another automatically as interest rates change between the different protocols. Therefore, they'll always be getting you the best possible interest. And similar to any lending pool, 
Once you've deposited your received tokens back that represent your share of the liquidity pool, which are wrapped and returned back to you. With Yearn, that's Y tokens, similar to A tokens with Aave, etc., which you can then collect from here too. Now, unfortunately, right now, the gas fees are just too high for me to perform any transactions. But when gas fees are lower, you'll see this is a simple way to deposit your funds and get the best rates without having to watch the rates changing. So let's take a look at their vaults. Vaults employ strategies to automate the best yield farming opportunities available and minimise risk. They were designed so that the community could work together to build new strategies to find the best yields. So essentially, Yearn vaults are pools of funds with an associated strategy for maximising returns on the asset in the vault. And there's a 0.5% withdrawal fee on all vaults and a 5% performance fee on subsidised gas. And as you can see, there's quite a few to choose from, from the likes of CurveFi LP tokens, ETH, DAI and Yearn Finance if you're lucky enough to have the tokens. And as you can see, some of these earning potentials are huge. And at the time of this recording, unfortunately, we're currently unable to deposit into the ETH vault. Yearn Finance's official Twitter account announced that the team has paused the vault deposits, stating that deposits to YETH has been paused. With an estimated 70 million die minted, withdrawals are unaffected and they will allow deposits again in the future. But for now, this is a high enough cap to balance between best profits and the best risk adjustment. Now you'll find that vault strategies are more active than just lending out coins like you would in the standard Yearn protocol. In fact, most vault strategies can do multiple things to maximise the returns. And this might involve supplying collateral and borrowing other assets such as stable coins, providing liquidity and collecting trading fees or farming other tokens and selling them for profit. And strategies are created by the controller who manages the vault with new strategies being voted on by the community through governance proposals. Plus, there's also something called Delegated Vaults 2, which they use for A-Link and Chainlink. And these Delegated Vaults are used for volatile assets so that they can participate in yield farming strategies too. And again, unfortunately, with these gas fees being so high right now, I won't be depositing. But when fees are lower, you'll need to approve this within your associated wallet and pay a gas fee, and then you can go ahead and deposit. Next up, there's Zap. And Zap allows users to swap various assets into pooled interest bearing tokens, making swapping your tokens seamless. Zaps were originally made by DeFi Zap, which is now Zappa.fi, as a type of all in one DeFi routing service. And I've got a full tutorial of Zappa.fi if you're interested in finding out more. And you can zap into Curve.fi pools with DAI, USDC, USDT, TUSD and BUSD. Then zap out of Curve Finance tokens to receive stable coins in return. Then finally, we have Yinsure, which is also known as Cover. Which opens in a new window and takes you to Yinsure.finance, as essentially it's a different product. And it's a pooled coverage system providing pooled insurance cover. The great thing about this insurance is that there's no KYC required and it's underwritten by Nexus Mutual. Again, I've got a full tutorial on Nexus Mutual where I go into this in more detail about how it works. But with Yinsure, it's made up of three components. Insurer Vaults, which holds the assets that are used to insure claimants. Then there's Insured Vaults, which holds the assets claimants desire to be insured. And finally, Claim Governance, which represents the insurance arbitration process but you can select from a few contracts here. You can state the term that you'd like cover for and the amount that you'd like covered. And you can go ahead and generate your quote. Now, unfortunately, this isn't actually working for me right now. And if I take a look at all these different types of covers, they all have zero ETH available at the moment. But as I said, this is still in beta at the moment. Then finally, you'd have your dashboard where you can get a quick glance at how your portfolio is growing while invested in Yearn's products. But that completes my run through of Yearn Finance. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, 
And please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.